What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of your favorite podcast, the League Report Podcast. Uh, we're back with episode number whatever. Um, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube, download new episodes on Spotify and Apple. Subscribe to us on Spotify and Apple. And also do not forget to follow us on our socials, on Instagram. We're on TikTok, we're on Snapchat, and we are on Twitter. So how y'all feeling today? We yeah, we everywhere. How y'all feeling today? Basically. Um, how you feeling? How you feeling, Carl? I'm feeling pretty good. You know, I'm not gonna talk about you know the Lakers. They oh, just, no, no, no. I, I told Ty last week. I said I don't even know. We, me and Blake, Blake said it first. Actually, he was like, I don't even know why you all watch them. And he has a I point. I told y'all that y'all, they, y'all steady watching them. Though. They don't even deserve people's recognitions right now at all. <laughs> they are that bad. I don't even want to talk about them. CS, as far as I'm gonna go with them, I don't yeah. want to talk about them no more. I'm gonna just say I'm fine. Without the answer, Blake's I question, I'm saying I'm, I'm saying I'm doing good. That's because I always want to talk shit about that game, but we ain't gonna do it because we complain about nah, them every single day. I'm telling yeah. you, they ain't worth it, bro. They ain't yeah. worth it. Now, question: I gotta go look at stands. Are they still in the playing conversation right now? They, yeah, they yeah, nice. They, yeah, they nice. Uh, the Pelicans lost last night, so yeah. Wow, I, it, I I know they have a losing record, but I I literally don't remember the games they've won this season. Like outside of the Warriors, I don't either. Because yeah. I I think like their last twenty, they've gone. Somebody said. They've gone four and seventeen their last like last yeah. what is it the last couple of games or something like that twenty one games four four and seventeen is twenty one wait number yeah I know I was I was I was drawing a blank I was like Whoa. yeah no I got you <laughs> that's a damn yeah, thing. yeah no nah, yeah it they go get in the play in too because the Pelicans I feel like they go keep dropping games they their yeah. schedule only gets rougher so it does yeah because yeah, I have yeah. so even if yeah even if they even if they my bad but even if they don't uh. They do drop down to 10. The Portland Trailblazers ain't catching nobody. So nah. this, this, yeah. was, this, 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 this is why I was criticizing the play-in, bro, because you got teams that are this bad have potential of, like, you know, making yeah. it over teams to 7 and 8. Damn, yeah, so they, they really wouldn't be in the playoffs if, if it wasn't for the play-in. That's crazy. Yeah. It's a double-edged sword for me because I, I, I do think it does reward whack teams. But at the same time, I like it because I'm, I, I those games are really competitive. Like, I mean, there were a couple last year that were pretty bad. Like, I remember yeah. the Hornets got, got that – by the Pacers and shit like that, but I mean, you look at the Grizzlies game, or you look at—I mean, the Grizzlies played. The, it, it was it was like the game determined seating before the play-in. But I remember that one. I remember going back to the bubble. I always mention that Grizzlies Blazers game last year. The Lakers Warriors game was dope as hell. That that game eliminated the Warriors out of the uh, playoffs, didn't it? The Memphis one did. When Memphis okay. played, go great. Yeah, it was Memphis because uh, the Lakers, the Warriors lost. I, no, yeah. no, 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 no. I, I think the Lakers one did because then. The Warriors no, I, lost that first. No, I just the Warriors played two games. No, yeah, they did. They lost the one against the Lakers. I remember us. We were rooting for uh, Golden State to beat Memphis because we were saying dudes were blowing shots when they were getting wide open. Oh, okay, right, that right, was yeah, that yeah, was to yeah. deter- that was like a pre-playing. That was like a seeding game to deter- I think it determined like who got. That was a pre-playing game. I remember. Yeah, because I, I, I remember. I, only thing I remember was it was two of them. So, yeah, I don't, yeah, I know. I'm just saying, I don't know because the when the Lakers won, that solidified their spot, but I don't think that was eliminated the Warriors. I think them playing Memphis eliminated. I'm pretty sure I'm like 100% sure. I gotta, I gotta go back. I gotta go back. Look it up right now. Yeah, yeah but those, were, those were two really good games, though. I, I do remember those being two really good games, but at the same time, like I said, I like it because it's entertaining to watch. And I, I remember it was like a Denver versus Minnesota game back when Minnesota had like Jimmy Butler and Cat. And all those guys, and uh, we were saying like, oh, they, like they had to play for that last playoff spot, pretty much. And I remember people saying they need to make this playing tournament an actual thing. And now that it's a thing, you know, people don't fuck with it. You know what I mean? So it's kind of like yeah. it is what it is. But um, you know, I, like I said, I feel I feel two ways about it. So yeah, yeah, it was it was yeah they because they played the Lakers on May uh, 19, two thousand twenty one, and they played the Grizzlies on May twenty first. Okay, okay, twenty one. So it was it was that game because it went okay. overtime. Yeah, and you all beat the Pacers. The day before, yeah, we sure did. Yeah, somehow, to, somehow, to get the seven seed, did you all yep. get the seven seed? I'm pretty who, sure you all got the seven. Seed. I think we got the seven. I think we got the seven because I think because I think Utah ended up playing uh Memphis at the AC because Utah was one seed yep. last year. Yep, that's true. That's true. Yeah, mixed feelings about the plan, but I mean, it gives the Lakers another shot. You know what I mean? I I don't want to talk about the Lakers too much, so we gonna follow. I mean, they still please. gonna lose. So. Please don't. Yeah, <laughs> oh, they, they still gonna lose. I, ain't, I don't say I don't say this often, but Charles Barkley was right about them old geezers on that team. Yeah. It's a bunch. It's a bunch. I can't even get into. We didn't got into it about a million times. I can't even say what it is. Um, let's talk about let's talk let's talk about those who are doing their shit. One, uh, let's talk about Jalen Green. 
Uh, last night, I think he ended up having, what, 32 points. And over his last six, he's averaging pretty much 24 points a game on solid mm-hmm. shooting from the floor. There have been a couple little iffy ones here and there. But for the most part, he's looking like over his last couple, the really post-All-Star break, the player that we knew that he could end up being. Um, had a really rough start to the year. There was also an injury, which kind of hindered his progress a little bit. Um, but he's looking like he's finding his stride a little bit. Blake, that's your guy. So how are you feeling about his performance over the last couple? I, I love it. I love it. It's coming a little bit late in the season, but, I mean, still developing. So I, I, I like it. I like it. I like how they're setting they're setting everything up for next season. You're getting, you're getting a lot of key minutes for a lot of the young guys, especially uh, Sing Boon and uh, I, I, I can't pronounce it. You said it right. Name. Yeah, you did. You did. No, nope. no, no, no. Uh, the other one. The yeah, other. uh, uh, Kevin, uh, um, Jackson. no, um, Gar- uh, Gar- oh, Garuba, yeah, 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 that dude, yeah, who's my Garuba, yeah, I know you're talking about, Garuba. Yeah. Yeah. Garuba. yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. yeah, yeah, so him, and then also, too, like, um, I think you're also talking about. He, it's kind of a similar rookie year to Anthony Edwards last season. You know what I mean? Remember Anthony Edwards kind of was a little iffy at the beginning and then, but that is natural with young scorers. You know what I'm saying? And, and Green's showing a lot of other stuff. Like it's not just the scoring, but it's also some playmaking here and there. You know, I think he's he's pretty solid at that. I think that's what's going to make this, hopefully make this Kevin Porter Jr. and Jalen Green backcourt work for the future is their versatility in the offensive end. Kevin Porter Jr. hasn't been great at all this year. Um, yeah. You know, but uh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, he cut his hair off. That might, you know, that probably was a little weight he had on his shoulders. Yes. Now he a little light. Yeah, he, he can. Yeah, he can. You know, be looking at the floor right as a floor general. He go yeah. play right this time. He cut his hair off, so he, right. keep that in mind. He cut yeah. the fro off. So. Hopefully, I tell you, I tell you, I don't, he don't need to be playing the uh, point guard. I say, mm-hmm. yeah. at least I don't think. I, I was optimistic about it before the season, but now I, I, just keep him at the two or like a little three or something like that. Yeah, we'll, we'll three. Yeah, we'll see what happens because it's it's really I don't know. Like, cause then we'll see what happens with him. It, it, we'll we'll see how they develop together. I think KPJ's biggest thing is playmaking, and I know he can do it. But you know that's something he has to really hone in on. The efficiency's been pretty bad this year. But like I said, he's young. He's like in what year four or three or whatever. And year goes, three, I think. Yeah, yeah. So you know, there's still a lot to be hopeful about. I you did mention Sangoon. He had a pretty good game last night too, and I like his game a lot. I like to see where he takes it over the next couple of years. Um, so, yeah, Houston, I, I mean, we know they're a bad team, but as Blake mentioned, they're doing a good job of setting stuff up for the future. And like I said, it just once again back to that narrative about rookies, especially those scoring-minded guys. And I just said it a couple minutes ago, it, it takes a minute for them to develop. You know, it takes a minute for them to get their shit right. And he's looking like he's finding a stride. Um, we know now they have nothing to play for, so it's going to give him more freedom to kind of experiment a little bit and do his thing offensively so it'll be good for him way to be blunt way to be like that about it hey hey it is what it is they ain't been playing for nothing this whole season so right yeah we, we kind of expect them only people that expect them to make the playoffs or playing was blake all right because i sure uh, didn't shit i expected the pistons i kind of i, 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 I kind of gave up on that around the 15th game I, so. I was just about to say so i expected the pistons i don't know i was looking back at that i'm like i don't know how how you always i don't know either that. no, that, that's rookie one team. Team. i just didn't get that but you always yeah. you you always looking at it as a as from a talent perspective, but which makes sense. But, yeah. But they never played together. Some of the teams we were saying it was gonna make the play in, so that's why I was like, I don't know. So. How about Kate over his last couple? Oh, uh, he's been twenty two points, uh, 28, 20, 22, 20, 19, and twenty five, seventeen, and another twenty point game. So he's another guy, um, who is. I mean, it never it didn't take him that long to find his stride at all. Like it took him a couple games, and then he was right into it. Um, but yeah. he's like, I mean, he's he's been amazing, you know. He, he probably like 20th in the MVP and I'm just playing, but uh, <laughs> I said 20th. They don't even go past 10, I don't think. I don't even know. Right. Yeah, no, he's probably, would you all say he's the leader right now in rookie, rookie of the year? Or It's, it's tough. It's tough because uh, with yeah. the Scotty Bowman. I Bones, say um, I got to put uh, I gotta put Mobley up first. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I think I think Josh, Josh Giddy, he's kind of he's kind of getting up there too. Yeah, I I don't know about Giddy. I, Giddy may be out of it for me because I first of all he's been hurt, and then his point production never really got to what I wanted it to be. Like, as far as rookie rookie of the rookie of the year type stuff, um, and then I mean, I think with Mobley and Scotty Barnes, the argument for them is the entire playoff thing. You know what I'm saying? Like this isn't a year where every great rookie is on a suckish team. 
You know, like you have two guys, yeah. Barnes and Mobley, where like they're both on really good teams. They're not on contending teams, but they're both on really good Eastern Conference teams. So that's why Mobley, I think Mobley and Barnes get the argument over Cade. But if this was like any other season, then I think Cade would be the front runner. But I also think if you just look at it from a talent perspective, if you look at it from an upside perspective, we all know who maybe five years from now is going to end up being the best player, unless I'm tripping. And I think it's going to be Cade, unless I'm tripping. Y'all know about, uh, what about uh, Evan? Evans, ah, yeah. I, I'll put, I'll Evan. put them. I, I don't know. I, uh, I'll, I'll put him, Jalen, uh, those three. Probably they'll be in the uh, that same kind of tier. That's yeah. kind of like the best out of that class. Yeah, I can't, I can't with that class. I can't just pick like just one out of them. Yeah. They, it's a couple of guys in there that could, that could really do something. Yeah, you, you all forgetting about Scotty? Scotty too hotty? Scotty born? Oh yeah. Yeah. yeah, I I think yeah, he's probably going to be. Mm, my thing, I think his ceiling could be the second. He could be the second best player out of all of them. My thing, with, my, my thing with Scotty is this: How long until he becomes a first option on the team? That's my thing with Scotty. K is going to be a first option for the next like, for like he's a first option now. So Scotty, I don't know if Scotty can really be like a first option. That's what I'm saying. That's why. That's why K gets argument over Scotty. You know, now Evans got an argument, but you know, you can kind of go back and forth with them. Scotty, I think, is going to be kind of hidden amongst different Raptors unless they decide to just go in a different direction and just build around him. He's going to kind of not hidden, but he's going to kind of be that, you know, in the middle of stuff. You know. Yeah, him and Siakam are very similar how they play to me. I don't know. Yeah. Do, am, I, am I tripping? No, you aren't. You said that there, before. It's like, a, like, yeah, yeah. it's like a spit, like a spitting image of each other. And they yeah. like drafted like the same players. It's kind of weird. It's kind of smart, but it's weird at the same time too. Yeah. So yeah, probably yeah. No, yeah. yeah. He probably yeah, the, okay. I'll bump him down to three. He yeah. probably the third best player out of these young dudes. Then yeah, maybe third yeah. or fourth maybe. I don't know. Yeah. Mobley, I, I say my, you Mobley. Eh, yeah, Mobley. I, I love Mobley's game. I got nothing against that Mobley at all. But I think K just from. What I've seen from him as a guard and knowing that, I mean, we could, would y'all say it's a guard league still or is that argument just dead? No, I think, I think it is, it's still a guard uh, league. You look at, I don't know. We, we, you going based off of like who the superstars in the league are, just look at, look at how many guards there are that really yeah. come up in that conversation. Yeah. I mean, they guards, but they like seven foot guards, some of them. Yeah. I don't know. And I, I was going to say like, Jokic and then Embiid and then Giannis, but then after that, there's like a major fall off. So I would say it's still a guard heavy league. Yeah. So given yeah. that, given that, I think Cade is gonna is that guy. You know what I'm saying? He is a guard heavy league. Uh, you know, he's the best guard out of this class. He's doing. He's getting a lot of opportunities to be that dude down the stretch for this team. Like we've seen him do a lot of clutch stuff over the course of the season. Um, so that's that's my argument for him. Is I, I just think he'll be asked to do a lot more than a Mobley and then a Scotty Barnes yeah. for over the yeah. next couple of years, and I think he'll excel at that. You know. Plus, plus, I'm never going to pick if two dudes are just as equally talented. I'm never going to pick the big man over the guard. I'm, I'm yeah, just, yeah. Most, yeah, because the guard to me is going to have the ball in his hands more, and he's yeah. going to be more entertaining to watch than a more traditional center like yeah. Evan Mobley. Because Evan yeah, Mobley, that's the same thing I said. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. Evan Mobley's not like a Kevin Durant or anything like that. That mm-hmm. type of big, big seven foot or whatever. He's the one you got to you know make plays for him, pick mm-hmm. and roll, got to get him ball and pose away from the back down stuff like that. But uh, Cade's gonna have the ball in his hand all the time. And I say this in a couple years with Evan, that may not be true because I feel like in a couple years we're gonna see some Evan get a rebound. We're already seeing a little bit of Evan getting a rebound, pushing it up. So who knows? He's he has, he so has slow, the body. Though. I know that. He, he 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 has the body for. It. Yeah, I mean, I'm 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 very excited to see how Evan like develops his game over the next couple of years because he's one of my favorite big man prospects probably since I mean I think Joel Embiid maybe. Yeah, I got I got to wait for him to get a little quicker because he's a little slow sometimes for me yeah. a little bit. He's like, jump- he has skill, no, he has skill, no doubt. But his jumper's a little slow, and some of his moves, he, he uh, like a little too slow to be like you know yeah. known as a big man that can really like dribble like Giannis or even yeah. uh, Joker or something like that. Even Joel, Joel can dribble. Yeah, his his jumper is slow as hell. Shout out to this rookie <laughs> class though; it's it's really dope. Um, people don't really. I don't, I don't think people realize how great this class is. You know what I'm saying? Like you got like mentioned the Josh Giddies and. Um, you know, the the Scotty Barnes or the uh, Mobies and the K's and all those guys, you know, even Jalen Green. It, it's a really stacked class. You know, even some of the other guys that aren't like as prioritized on the offensive end. Jonathan Kaminga has been amazing for Golden State, especially in Draymond's absence. He's yeah. shooting much better yeah. from three than I thought he would, too. So, yeah, yeah he, got, no, he got the best nickname, too. Yeah, well, we ain't saying, we ain't saying, right. that. Yeah, back to that. Huh? Yeah, uh, yeah, I told you about uh, Jonathan Kaminga is. 
it's good for a player of like of his caliber, like being that young to get confidence like that when they give you because he's getting open shots, a lot of threes he's making because the scouting report says he can't shoot. Yeah. But as he starts knocking down those three open threes, he's going to get more confidence to knock down contested ones. So it's it's kind of a good. Yep. It's a it's a bad thing they think you can't shoot, but it's a good thing too because yeah, yeah it allows you to get better at shooting threes because you shoot yeah. wide open ones. He is one of those dudes where you look at the percentages and they play out, but I'm still going to gamble and let him take it. I don't know why, but he's one of those guys. Yeah. Well, you got to prove it, if, even though he's... Yeah, he's not weapon. He's not proven yet. That's, yeah. I think that's a big one. Yeah, true, true. Yeah, he, even though he's been shooting it well over the last month or so, he has to do it over the course of the season. Yeah. Maybe more than that for us to, like, for dudes to be like, oh, let me go ahead and guard him because, you know, he's yeah. going to make it. The knockdown shooter, yeah. They still let him, they still let him shoot them things yeah. wide open. I love how uh, like a lot of young Golden State players really just come in and adapt to the system well. You know, Tom's going to tell with James Wiseman, but Kaminga, it's been really easy for him to just come in and do his thing. You know, uh, same with Jordan Poole we saw. Uh, you know, a lot of guys, you know. So that's that's a great thing about Golden State. It's a great thing about Steve Kerr. Yeah, guys, guys come in, you know, guys come in and, and they're ready to go, you know, under this system. So, um, you know, I, great stuff from him. We even saw a great game from Moses Moody a couple of nights ago. We got 30. I don't think – for anybody else, Moses Moody got 30. Yep. I ain't even know. I ain't even noticed that. Yeah, that Moses yeah, Moody. Was a game. Uh, Arkansas. Yeah, from Arkansas. Nobody, was playing, nobody was playing for real. But. Okay, yeah, that's why. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So it felt like a G League game or something, then, didn't it? Yeah, he, he, he been he he never yeah. for Golden State. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. So it was so it was like the Santa Cruz Warriors races, Denver Nuggets. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. Like, you ain't think I knew that, did you? I, knew, yeah. I know their name. I was surprised because I, I thought Moody was a better prospect than. Uh, Oh, I, a lot of people. Yeah, I did too. Was a better prospect than Kaminga coming out of the draft. Let's be honest, though. We is it is it? I mean, it's not like we we still. I don't know. We haven't seen enough from Moody yet, but it's not like a case closed thing to say Jonathan Kaminga is just better, better than him. Yeah, true, true, true. Got to give him. Got to give him time. That's very true. It's situational. It is very situational. So yeah, great rookie class. Even go down to my boy in Orlando, Wagner. I didn't think he was going to be that good. I wasn't high on him at all coming out of the draft. Yeah. He already better than his brother. That's just me. You're right. <laughs> I went high on his brother in Michigan. When he was in Michigan, I went high on him at all. I, I, at Michigan, he showed some skill. He kind of played like a – like, I don't know, he had some Kevin Love to his game, but like a big that can stretch the floor and rebound. Yeah. Then when he got drafted by the Lakers, I was very disappointed. Because I – no, not disappointed that they picked him. I was actually happy. But then I saw him on the court playing. Yeah. I'm like, what is this? Was he there on LeBron's first year in L.A.? Is yeah. that I don't it? know why they picked him. Yeah. yeah, I don't know why. They I mean, it seemed like a good idea. Big that can shoot. I mean, yeah. I don't remember him getting a bunch of clock. It was weird. That's a weird. That's a weird season to be a rookie for the Lakers. He definitely didn't. But then, as we, you know, as the Lakers started losing games because they didn't make the playoffs, he got more clock, and it wasn't yeah. good. Yeah. What was more pitiful? What I gotta bring it back to the Lakers. No, 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 no. Please. please. Uh, oh shit. Go ahead. No, nah, go ahead. I just messed no, with yeah, you. No, go ahead. Go. Ahead. I want to hear you. What Lakers season was more pitiful? That LeBron's first year or this year? Oh, this, this year. This. Okay. It's not even close. Because at least that, we, was, uh, that was his first year. So you could you could give him some slack, but this is what his third year now. Yeah. yeah. You can give him Our slack that year? first year. Yeah, four, yeah, four. You can give him uh you can give him slack that first year, probably because he got hurt. Damn, that nigga was been hurt. He's been hurt this season too. Yeah. Damn, LeBron been with the Lakers for four years. Mm-hmm. That's crazy. His contract is up this year. We're leaving after that fifth one. Yeah, yeah, he's out. He's out. But he, his contract is up after this year. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Uh, man, so shout out to the rookie. LeBron, LeBron to uh, Washington. Uh, I, would, I would love that. I would, I would love that. Um, let's see. So that, that's that. Shout out to the rookie this year. Um, another dude I wanted to shout out, our boy from St. Louis, Jason Tatum. 42. Oh, Bradley Beer. You talking about Bradley? I'm just, oh, Lord. You're going to get me started. Uh, 42 points a game over his last couple. Um, he had a 50-point game and followed up with a 40-point game this week. Thoughts on Jason Tate? Well, let me ask you guys this. What, it, what, what do we need? Because this was the kind of a conversation people were having on Snapchat with me last night. What do we need to see from Jason Tatum to, to, for us to be confident in him as a superstar? Because I feel like right now he's – You said what? He's our, he already is. Is he? He said he already is. Is he, Carl? I don't know. I've, I've always been on the – like the like the he is he but he is, is. He is. Carl just Carl just hating. No, a lot of people don't think he is. Yeah, because I'm I'm yeah. I was no nah, real quick. I'm gonna explain to you why because it's been times like in the playoffs where he's put up he's put up these numbers in the regular season before. Like we've seen him do this, but then mm-hmm. he have that spurt where he just kind of what's the word I want to use? He just kind of just looked like a like a very good good player instead yeah. of superstar level. Because there's yeah. times where you can question is he a superstar caliber player, especially think- in the playoffs. 
I think it comes down to the playoffs. I think it's what it is. I think we have to see yeah. him lead a team to a deep playoff run. And he's been deep in the playoffs, but never as their best player or as their second that's, best player. You that's, know? Yeah, that's yeah, that's what I'm saying. When you when you think of a word superstar, you think of a dude, you, you know what I'm talking You think of KD, you think yeah. of Giannis, yeah. uh, Joel, LeBron, uh, Luca, dudes that you actually know or you kind of seen them lead their team at least to game to game winning playoff games or whatever. We yeah. haven't really seen Jason Tatum do that. Yeah. I haven't seen maybe one game. I think one game against the Nets last year when he had like 50. Yeah. But that's because they were already down three on the series. So yeah. I think it's a valid question to ask it. How many superstars are there in the NBA? Like, what's the cutoff? I feel like there are like or 10, maybe. Maybe eight. Eight. Because I'm gonna say LeBron. I I say seven, seven or eight, seven or eight. LeBron, Steph, Joel, KD, Kyrie, uh, Jokic. Harden. Harden. Uh, 10, PG. 10. You, said PG? you said PG? I don't think so. <laughs> I, I say he is. Uh, Giannis, that's 10. That's about Giannis, 10. Is, Giannis is 10. Um, hmm. right, maybe the cutoff, maybe? Yeah, AD was one, but... No, nah, yeah, AD's not anymore. Yeah. Not even anymore, but 10. Uh, I don't... PG? Nah, I don't... Yeah, I'll take PG Superstar. out. Oh, uh, Dame. Dame, that's 11. Okay. Dame at 11. I say uh, Dame. Uh, Chris Paul. Uh, 12, Chris Paul. 13, Dan, uh, Booker. Dan Booker's not a superstar yet. He's not a superstar. I, I don't think. He no, he is. He I don't is. think Chris he Paul is. is. I think he's a star. A, I think su- a, super, nah. a superstar is like, a superstar is a whole different conversation than like an all-star. You know what I mean? So with I, I, put, I put Booker in that range. If we put Booker, we got to put Trey in there. I can't see it. If we put Booker I in, I can put it. Trey in there. Okay, I don't know. I think it's too early. Because my thing is, um, I put Trey. So that's that's that that takes you up to fifteen. Because no, you add too many. That's too many. Uh, Trey damn. Yeah. That's yeah, too many. tripping. Ain't no way. Yeah, that's too many. That's too many. I think I think a, a superstar is a dude who we've seen on a consistent basis get his team deep into the playoffs. You know what I'm saying? And we have not seen that with um, we haven't seen that with uh, Jason Tatum yet. We haven't seen that with. We saw Trey Young do it once, but it was kind of a fluke. You know what I'm saying? So you have to consistently yeah. get your in there for me to say you're a superstar, you know? That, yeah. That's oh, Brad, uh, Brad. No, he's not. Bradley Bill is not. Yeah, he not yeah. Okay. Yeah, but uh, this is what I'm saying with Jason Tatum. Just like you saying, he he hasn't really – I want to give him credit, too, because, you know, he's St. Louis. I want to give him the credit he deserved, but he hasn't really had those games where we, quit, where we uh like, find the answer of him leading a team to the playoffs and leading to a deep – playoff run yeah like, is that fair i don't think we have we haven't seen him do it yet that's that's what yeah. separate that's what separates him is I, I haven't seen him do that just yet um yeah. you know get a team to a super super deep run um and that's what he's going to be have to be able to do because we've seen him have yeah. insane we've seen him have this is not the first time we've seen him have an insane regular season stretch yeah it's not the first time right in front was it last year the year before where he our was like year. our freshman year he yeah. was bro he was he was playing yeah. defense he, he yeah. was already uh, he was, was talking about Jason Tatum, Tatum. he was yeah he was know, arguably my phone went outside. I wasn't. I didn't catch the. Uh, okay. Yeah. He's arguably he arguably had like a Paul George type of season in terms of you know when he was uh, Paul George was playing for uh, Oklahoma City that one year. Yeah. And he yeah. was like a top MVP candidate, but he also was a Defensive Player of the Year candidate. That's the type of season he had our freshman year, which is like two three years ago. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. So yeah, he has that potential though to be like a top. I think he has the potential to be a top five defensive player. I don't know if he can consistently do it. I don't think yeah. he will. Yeah. But he has the talent too. Yeah, he's yeah. dope. Yeah, hopefully we can see him put it all together, man. Um, because like I said, we've like I said, we've seen him have these stretches. I don't think we've seen him have a stretch like this though, where Boston played this well. You know what I'm saying? Like they, I, like I said, I may be tripping, but I legit think they're a contender right now. I really do in the East. I think you, so. You no, know, I ain't want to believe it yet, but they are. I, yeah, I gotta give it. Remember, you you always asking me, can we take this winning streak serious? I said, no, nah, give them time, and then the next week after that, they end up being bad. But then this week, and next week, and the next week on. They start winning more and more games, so I got to give it to them. Yeah, they definitely a contender. Yeah, Jalen Brown been oh, playing better too. Yeah, of course. Would y'all would y'all put a? I can't pronounce that coach. Oh, uh, Doku. A do a. Email you Doka. Email Doka. Would y'all put him in a, a coach of the year? Coach of the year candidate. Good question. Top five. Just based right kind of five. based off of the turnaround, mini mini turnaround they yeah. had. Beginning, yeah, beginning the season, top five. Top yeah, beginning five. of the season they was they, they was down bad. Now they kind of. That's 
He's in the conversation yeah. for sure. No, I would just go say real quick. That's the if we if we <clears> think about that's been them over the last two or three years of the Celtics. If you really think about it, mm-hmm. they they used to have the periods where they struggle, then they just heat up out of nowhere. Like yep. we expect it to happen, we don't know when. So. Top five coach of the year candidates here. That's a good question, Blake. I would say I just named five guys. Jason Kidd, I think, is in the conversation. Taylor Jenkins. Mm-hmm. We consider Tyron Lue in the top five of the conversation. It's not like the Clippers are a dominant team. They're just okay. Nah, but. nah. They stay in the flu. Okay. Yeah. But is that enough yeah. for coach of the year? No, it's not because you eight seed. Okay. I mean, if you look at who. You well, ain't going to win it in the eight well, seed. I don't know. I, I'd probably put him in there. If you look at his line, his starting lineup right now, you see you in the West. So I, I don't know. I, I think I'd put him in there. He still got Reggie, you know, Steve. So he ain't got no bombs on his squad. I'm just saying, but. I mean, he, he, don't, he don't have any like true. Like real, real like go getters so. though. Yeah. yeah, Monty's in the conversation again, without a doubt. I say, I say, I say, Emei Udoka is in the conversation. I say top five just because of the Celtics turnaround and how great they've looked, um, and how he flipped yeah. the narrative. You know, we know how hard it is for younger coaches uh, to adjust. You know, what I'm saying we can name all the younger coaches, the first year guys that came in and got shit, and never, never recovered from it. You know what I'm saying? So. <laughs> Um, I yeah. I don't, I'm thinking. I'm I'll, thinking of the East. I was gonna say him as a joke too. I was gonna say him as a joke. Okay. Frank cool. Vogel. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You almost made me curse. But uh, uh, I think we should show some love to the East. I would put. I don't know. I ain't putting <clears throat> Billy Donovan five, but I put Billy Donovan like six. Mm. Man, he's been keeping them afloat with all the injuries. He's yeah. been at least keeping them afloat yeah. in terms of being top four. They ain't they ain't easy to do because they don't have anybody basically outside of Demar Derozan that's a threat. I'm being honest, true. but they got Vucevic. But yeah, that's true. Vucevic, I am. I, I tell you, I forgot. But I honestly forgot Vucevic was. He's uh, still been playing pretty good. Um, yeah, I mean, kind of. It was expected. He for yeah, he is. It was kind of we expected it, you know what I'm saying? Because you gotta find a way to prioritize Levine and uh Demar. I think I think I was thinking about Billy Donovan. I said he's in there, but I'd put you Doka in the top five. I think I, I'd make him a top five candidate for that award. Shout out to him because he, like I said, he totally flipped that narrative. And I love seeing guys flip the narrative. I'm gonna shout out to him. That man, that man is winning in life. Yes, he is. Yes, shout he out is. to him. Something else. He he MVP in my eyes. Knee along. Yeah, uh, yeah. Oh, all right, good. Shout, shout out to Tatum. Shout out to Tatum. He's been doing his thing. Um, like I said, the 42 points a game over his last four is insane. I think it's like a slight career high in points for him. Um, so you love to see it. Uh, a yeah. little too yeah. late for me to call it an MVP run for him. A little, little too late. I can't it's say Kendrick, uh, Kendrick Perkins was saying, Is this he in the MVP conversation? He's like, like could, I'm, Yeah, I'm be honest, they be putting anybody that have one good game in the MVP conversation. Yeah. I remember they did that last year with James Harden. That was he had like two games where he, you know, when he came from um yeah. the Rockets to the yeah, and well, he's in the MVP discussion. But I wanted to get back to what you all were talking about with superstars because I didn't get the name of my list. I w- I would say LeBron's obviously one, Giannis, right. KD, Joel, uh, Joker. So that's five right there. Mm-hmm. When Kyrie plays, when he plays, he's a superstar, obviously. So then that's six. Steph, uh, Harden, Harden, that's seven. I think you probably got to max out at 10. Yeah. Uh, who's some other dude? PG. Hmm? PG. No. Yeah, I, ain't uh, no. I can't put PG up there. I, 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 I got to put him in there, bro. You know what? Oh, okay. Oh, old, old PG. Old yeah. PG. Like, we talking about Indiana Pacers. We was talking five, six years ago. I would do it. Yeah. But I've seen him after that. He hasn't really gotten back to that same player. He played good in the playoffs last year. Yeah. But I, I need to see more of him in terms of superstar. I know Kawhi is when he's playing. Yeah. I put Kawhi there. Uh, Dane, that's probably it. Am I yeah. missing somebody? Chris Paul. Ah, uh-huh. I don't want superstar. I don't. Oh, come on, bro. Oh, okay. Luka? What about Luca? Okay, oh, Luca. My bad. I forgot to say Luca. But super, but su- but su- but superstar. Chris Paul. That's, a, that's taking you over ten, Carl. But what's the Luca argument? What's the Luca argument? Because. Carl, is Trey Young a superstar? No, I was about to answer that. I was about to say you have a good point. I knew what you was about to say, yeah. but that's why I didn't really say Luke at first. Yeah. You know? So, because when you said what you said about Trey Young, it made me think, oh, it's really, I don't know. Is Luca really? But I, if Trey a superstar is Luca, how can Luca be? That's my thing. If Trey's not, how can Luca be? Because Trey got oh, his. I want to say job, but I got to see, I wow. got to see some, got to see something else. That's why I said I got to see some this after, this, after this season, job, job. Because because what a superstar really is, a person that's proven himself over the course of a stretch, like yeah. playoff stretch, really. 
It's gonna it, and it's more gonna, than one and more than one really. That's what it is. All the players, coming. all the players I've named, they've averaged near thirty, probably near thirty in the playoffs before, or some uh, some series in some capacity. Yeah. So. Oh, Luca. Even though he hasn't, I don't think he's averaged like that thirty. But oh, he's averaged near it with the pass the first round. I got to see him get past the first round. Yeah. Damn, is that mean? Am I having a? Is it too strict for me? Is my kind? Is my criteria for superstar a little too strict? No, I think it has to be a strict one. We can't go around calling everybody a superstar. That's what I'm saying. We can't. I, I have. I have a yeah, hard I mean, time. I, even you thinking. still can't just cut it off at ten though, because it's it's so many. I, I I don't think you. I don't think at least I don't think you can cut it off at ten. Maybe 10, 11, 12, maybe twelve. Yeah, because the thing thing with me is it's not the superstar and star are two different things. Yeah, a star is somebody like a Devin Booker to me, or uh, what's another dude, a Ja. Or a, I guess Trey Young, and then I guess I would have to put if I was going to critique the same if I was going to critique uh, Trey Young the same way I'm not going to do Luca then I probably have to put Luca in the same category with Trey Young because that's not fair if I'm going to yeah. critique Trey Young for that same stuff Thanks. and Luca hasn't been past the first round and Trey Young yeah. has so that's yeah. that'd be going backwards so yeah I think ten is 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 probably a max as far as superstar lives yeah I gotta agree I gotta agree with you there. Yeah, it, it, but it, it just goes to show you how much talent is in the league today. It's like insane the amount of talent, and, it, and it, a lot of these guys we mentioned are dudes under twenty five. You know what I'm saying? Like the guys where the yeah. like it, it's off the chain, man. Like Tatum is still very, very young. You know, like we're talking about him being a forty plus point per game guy over stretches of games. You know, he's a very young player, so that's that's what's dope to see. You know, Trey, Luca, all those guys are young as hell, so it's dope seeing them come in and do it. You know, uh, yeah. so shout out to them. Yeah, now I will say this. It was certain times last, I think it was last season where we had the question who's better. Uh, it was Trey Young, Luca, Jason Tatum. What's mm-hmm. another player? It was somebody else, too. Yeah, yeah. I do remember us asking. Somebody that. else in that draft. Uh, yeah. Uh, not even in that draft. Just young I mean, player. Draft. Donovan, Donovan that, Mitchell. Yeah. Uh, Donovan, Donovan yeah, Mitchell. Yeah. And then him? it was uh, Devin Booker. That was yeah. the top five list. I think we actually came up with that list and we talked yeah. about it. It mm-hmm. was like one of our first, yeah. So... I don't know. You splitting hairs, you pick between those five. This is not to me. It's not a wrong dude yeah. to put at one. I'm not yeah. going to really be that mad about. Yeah. Honestly, so it's a fact. Yeah, shout out to them, man. Uh, under 25 is insane. Um, I don't want to say I can't. I got to go back and look through the history books, but this may be the best plethora of under 25 talent in NBA history. I got to go back yeah. and look. I got to go back and look though. We all we all under under 25, so you know we we up there too. <laughs> we in that list conversation. In that list. We in that conversation. Oh, um, <laughs> now question for you guys. Um, this is a question: Is Nikola Jokic your top five player in the NBA? Yes. Okay. Right at like probably right at four or five. Okay, so let me let me um give you his numbers over his last three. So also two, also two is he? I I, I keep I, we keep going back and forth with this MVP conversation all the time. I I'm I think I'm dead set on him being MVP. I think I am. Denver yeah. has been solid. I mean, they, they haven't been great, but they've been consistent where they're at. Yeah. They have a top 10 offense and uh, just, just outside of a top 10 defense. And he's literally the reason for them being a top 10 offense. And yeah. the numbers are off the chain. Um, Denver looks solid and all of that. So I, I, I think right now, I don't know how you guys feel, but I think right now I'm dead set on Jokic as the MVP because if you just go look at him, there are a whole bunch of different guys out there. But if you just look at him, his consistency game by game and the point that he is kind of carrying his team – and they've been able to be such a solid regular season team without any real second option. It's, it's, yeah. it's amazing. So I think, yeah, I think he's probably been been the most disrespected like previous year MVP in terms of a person being MVP one year, then the next year, really people really don't you know don't talk about him that much. When yeah. he's averaging like, correct me if wrong, I think he's averaging like twenty eight points. Let me go look at his numbers. So he is twenty eight points and double digit oh, rebounds somewhere around there. Yeah, he almost averaging a triple double. I know he is. It's no twenty. He's a he's a freak a center. Averaging 26 points, 14 rebounds, and eight assists. Yeah. So, yeah. So, so he's like a he's like doing rust like numbers that at a center position when he we you know traditionally don't have the ball in his hand like that, even though he does actually. Sometimes yeah, yeah. he dribbles the ball up the court. That's kind of yeah. crazy. Yeah. But yeah, I think yeah, you could definitely make an argument for him being MVP. It's yeah. just they don't say it because he's not as sexy to watch as the other dudes, like the Joels, like yeah. the uh they, I don't think people think he is. Yeah. And he doesn't play defense like Joel does. It's so true. I think that's what people look at, too. Yeah. That's, I don't know. If you really want to compare Joel and then Joker, a lot of people would probably take Joel because he simply plays defense way yeah. better at yeah. a higher level. Yeah. yeah. Jokic has gotten slightly better, but, yeah, like you said, it's not NB, it's not NB level. Um, Yeah, no, I, I really like – I'm a big Jokic fan. I think this dude, man, he's a guy we're not going to see another type of player – 
I think he's going to be like, he, we're not going to see another type of guy like him. You know, we've never seen him. He's, he's the real unicorn. He really, that, that he's the prototype of what the, I yeah. think he's the prototype of what the NBA envisioned the next type of big man to be right. Like I, it, it, yeah. it, be, it became big man who can shoot. Now we've got big man who could big man who can run point. You know what I mean? He's the prototype. He's literally what the NBA dreamt about a big man being like five or whatever years ago. You know, let me let me ask you this. After he's done playing, do you think we're going to because this, this is kind of put him in the same conversation as Dirk? We didn't realize how good Dirk was until he was done playing. Do you kind of think it's going to be that same thing with Joker? No, I think people realize. Okay. I think people, people know how good he is. Yeah, yeah, people know what he is. Yeah. I, and there are going to be a lot of people trying to replicate that. Like, I, you can already kind of see Mo. Like, people, teams are running their big men to kind of replicate what he does. You know, like, Mobley, I think, is going to be – I mentioned earlier in the episode, Mobley is going to be kind of used in that similar way. You know, being a big and bring the ball up court. You can, you can ask him to play make and all of that. Um, you know, like, it, 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 that, that's – I think that's going to be, like, the new mode of what your offensively skilled big guys are. It's not about the back-to-the-basket thing anymore. It's not even just about shooting. You know, the passing and all that has got to be there. So, he's been insane over, over this stretch. And, like I said, this team is – I don't know what to think about them, but I think that as far as them making a deep run, it's going to come down to how quickly MPJ and Jamal Murray are going to be able to reassimilate into the system, you know, and come back yeah. and play at a high level. That's what it's going to come down that's, to. Yeah. That's going to be hard, too, because it's not yeah. easy just putting somebody back into a, like an offense that you kind of reformed a little bit because other people aren't there. So it's yeah. going to be hard just throwing them in there. They ain't really play basketball. And, and I know Jamal Murray ain't played near a year, yep. but uh, MPJ yeah, ain't played. True. Yeah. MPJ hasn't played in like six, seven months, and you just yeah. throw him kind of in there, so it's going to be hard. Just it's going to take some time too. Yeah, you that's why, especially yeah. this close, and it might be too late. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, maybe too late. Cause what they got like what fifth, twenty six, sixteen, seventeen games left. Yeah. Yep. yeah, yeah. Thing too, I think also back to the NBA, the, the, the Joker conversation. A lot of people think he's the MVP. Like a lot of NBA guys think no. Yeah, Jokic. All the other guys yeah. are coming in. Jokic is the MVP. You know what I'm saying? It's not not just a Denver fan thing, or it's not just uh, a yeah. big man fan saying it. No, but like coaches and players are like, no, this dude is actually the MVP, yeah. you know? My my thing is, I don't think anybody's MVP, what's the word? Just MVP chances are clear cut. I think you can go, at first, last last week, I was going to say DeMar is that run he was having, but he's still having a crazy run, but they've been losing some games. So I'm going I'm to have to bump DeMar down from that one spot oh, I put him, I have to put him two or three, I don't know. Yeah. That's yeah. tough. Joel's still been getting 40, so it's just like, what do we – I don't know. Jo- John Lamar losing their argument just because of, I think, the team thing because the Grizzlies have been skidding a little bit. You know, uh, the um, the Bulls, have been, as you mentioned, the Bulls have been skidding a little bit over the last couple. They're losing their case just a little bit because of the winning thing. And right now, like, no one's stock to me is, re- is, go- is going higher in the MVP conversation, higher than Jokic. You know what I'm saying? I don't think anybody's stock over the last two weeks has risen like him. Hey, guess what, though? What's that? We, we ain't talking about Giannis. Giannis just had 42 yesterday. Yep. Literally, and what he had so before he, that? What he had before? He had like another like thirty. What he had before that? I think he had a, some crazy like thirty. You asked yeah. me, I don't even know, but he had like I think thirty eight or something like that. Something crazy. Thirty nine, so yeah. forty three. Yep. Yeah, so we we might be that dude that don't get it based off they just they're kind of just tired of giving it to him. You know that syndrome in the NBA when you win MVPs, they just kind of tired of giving it to you. Yeah, he's had a great I'll season. Tell, I'll tell you one person they didn't get tired of giving it to. LeBron, Ooh, Michael, Michael Jordan. Oh no, no, Michael, Michael Jordan. Jordan. This nigga, no, they kind of did. Every no, kind of did. Would have mentioned Michael Jordan. No, they kind of did get tired of giving to him because they gave it to Carl Malone. So. And, they t- and they put his ass out the league too. They got tired of him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh oh. Mike Ooh, go get you. you. Mike? Yeah, Mike. Mike go get you. Mike go get you. Playing with Mike. But he's he. Jokic is going to be an elite company when you talk about winning back to back MVPs. You know what I'm saying? There have been a lot of back to back MVPs over this last year, though. Like Steph and then Giannis went one back to back, right? And then mm-hmm. Jokic looks like he's going to go get it. So it's insane, you know, and I think right now he's just this quiet megastar type of player that we're not going to see in another 30 some mm-hmm. years, you know, and, and, and uh, yeah, it's been, it's amazing seeing a, a big guy go back to back. And as we mentioned, what we th- still think is a guards league. Dude, I think my MVP ranks, I don't know. Like I just mentioned Giannis, he's been dominating ring. We ain't really been noticing that. Yeah. I'll be honest. Like, he's he been putting up, he's been putting up 40, 40 mm-hmm. and 15 rebounds. 38 and 15, yeah. 35 and 16. He's been, I don't know, he's just been casually doing that. But I think we don't want to put him at one spot because he won two of them before. I think people kind of getting tired that, of it. Yeah, tired of it, even though they I should. Say, I'm, not, I'm not tired of it. Keep on, keep on going. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's, 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 it's a great race. And like I said, we've been mentioned it many times before. It's one of the best races we've seen in a very, very, very long time. Um, yeah. You know, like I said, no clip. My say, my I think I, I personally think just because his stock has gone up, and I think everybody else's stock has risen quite like his. I do think Yoke is just kind of running away with it. I could be crazy for thinking that. Um, but other than that, like I said, these guys have been great. And if you look at the most improved player conversation, that's stacked as hell. You know, oh, yeah, that's Tyrese yeah. Maxey, Desmond Bain. If you want to put John in that conversation, you can. You know, a lot of dudes, you know, Tyler Hero, you can throw in that conversation possibly. Yeah, so I think uh, I think you gotta you gotta get that to John. Dejounte you, Murray, Dejounte like, Murray. Oh, yeah, Dejounte Murray, yep. Yeah um who else it's a lot of dudes so yeah man shout out to uh you know shout out to all of them man and like i said this is a once again we're in a transition period with the nba you know where we're transitioning to the post lebron prime era um and so it just shows how great you know or, or um you know how great the hands are the league is in right now you know so shout out to all those guys all those cats out there hooping let, yeah let me ask you this who's your top three then i know Jokic is your one Jokic is my who's one your... my two yeah. is my two is ja and then my three is Demar. Let me know Ooh, if no, I'm jo- no Joel, bro. Joel been putting up forty, like forty let me, balls. Let me take out Demar. Put jo- jo- Joel in there. Okay. Yeah. Let me do that. Blake, what about you? What's your top three? I say yeah. Jokic, Joel, and then Ja. Yeah. Same as Ty, basically. Damn, I'm the only and one that got a different. Find like a close fourth. Yeah. I got, I got a different. I got Joel one. I got Joel one and Joker two. And uh. Demar three, yeah. Where you, you ain't got your uh, John your top three for him? Nah, I mean I got John like four probably. It's tough. It's, it's 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 really if you if you say the top four top five is really you can argue almost for any. I guess you can really argue. You can at least argue that top three. You definitely yeah. can to me, honest, because yeah. you all mentioned Joker. He putting up 26, 14, and like eight. But I mentioned mm-hmm. Joel. He's I know he's putting up almost near thirty, and he's leading the league in scoring. So yeah. I can't ignore that. That's a fact. That's a fact. Yeah. But yeah, man. Shout out to these guys, man. Dope con- dope MVP conversation. Dope everywhere. Um, I mean, what else? I'm, I, I'm trying to think. I, I got some. What's that? Okay, so you mentioned most improved. When you mm-hmm. mentioned most improved, I thought about Miles Bridges. Then I thought about the Hornets. Mm-hmm. And I thought about that question you asked yesterday. Is it crazy to say that Darius Garland it's just as good, if not better, than uh, Lamelo Ball. I think I he's better than Lamelo Ball. I look at you can look at tape and look and say and say. And I don't think, and I don't think you're crazy for that because I really wasn't. I, I'm gonna be honest. I didn't really watch Darius Garland that much last year, but I watched him a lot this year. Yeah. I didn't know he can shoot like that. He yeah. got he got yeah. a shot on him. Yeah, much better finisher. I think he's a better finisher than Lamelo. Um, I think his all. I think his bag is deeper. He's a much better finisher than Lamelo. And yeah, at bag, deeper. yeah. Yeah, I think we just got to the oh, point. I, with about that. No, I, don't know. I think I think the problem is we got to the point with Lamelo and just thought, okay, he's just by far like just the best. Yeah, like young. I remember they was asking, is 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 he better than Ja last year? I th- I thought that was kind of insane. I knew hell of people that said Lamelo was better than Ja, and I don't care if the stats was better. You can't just let a dude just have play half a season and just determine that as him being better than the dude that's been playing for three years. He doesn't even have a high level. Yeah, his. I think he also kind of lost his case with how bad they were in the playing game. I know it was rookie year, but they were horrible in the playing game. I can't say there's nothing yeah. to look at and say, oh, he's he's the yeah, flat. I, yeah, you know? I just brought him up. Last, I mean, last night, basically because we like they've just been getting away with just playing so mid, so yeah. bad. Like they've been playing badly over the last month or so, like really bad. They're not that like, good. They've given up. They've given up. Uh. 50 to Kyrie, then 40 to uh, Jason Tatum. On a Monday, I mean, yeah. Tuesday, tu- on a Tuesday and Wednesday, back-to-back days. That's terrible. Hornets are overrated. The Hornets are overrated. They don't suck, but they're overrated. You know what I mean? Yeah, I, I, I like, you know, you know I like saying people yeah. suck. I, they're, they're a fun team to watch, and I don't, you know, I don't really trust them as far as a really deep playoff run because I just quite, kind of question their youth just, just a little bit. Defensively, they're not good. Offensively, we know what they are, so they don't have much to fix there. But yeah, you know, I, I don't think much of this team. I don't really thought much of them over the last couple. But it's great to know they have something that they're building towards. You know what I mean? Um, great direction. Yeah. yeah. You never know. You never know. We think they're building towards something. Then they actually just stay in this spot, and over the next three, four years, they don't get no better. You don't think so? We'll see what happens. It's not crazy. It's not crazy to think that because the Hornets have been the Hornets for a reason over the past ten years. Yeah. Or the Bobcats, should I say? The Bobcats. I, mean, I still that's can't... a terrible name. I still can't believe them niggas was called the Bobcats for that long. <laughs> I still can't believe they was called. Hey, the they, 
Hey, they had Al Jefferson. I'm gonna shout out Al Jefferson. Sweet, they used to call him Sweet, uh, Sweet Al because he yeah. had some footwork. He was pretty. He was cold. He was cold. Remember Al Jefferson, and yeah, then they had Kimber. Josh. They had some solid dudes, Kimba. They, yeah, they did, but they just never. I mean, yeah. they were a joke. I'm I mean, they made honest. the playoffs that one year, and they got well. Mason Plumley, called Josh McRoberts. I, got, I, got, I know him. Gerald Henderson. Yep. That ball head dude. Oh yeah. yeah he, man. he can jump. He can Gerald jump. Gerald Wallace. I think that Gerald Wallace for a little bit. Yeah. Vernon Carey. He, he can ball. They used to call Jerry Wallace the West Coast. Uh, never mind. Just yeah. call him the West Coast Trace McGrady. I don't know who came up with that name. I remember Jerry Wallace. <laughs> shout, out to, shout out to them too. Shout out to the Hornets. They're, they're not good. They're not. They're okay. They're they're decent, but I don't think they're going to make anything happen this year. So we'll see what they end up doing over the next couple. Um, anything else y'all wanted to get to? Uh, well, you shouted Mizzou, out there. Is... Mizzou got knocked out of the SEC tournament today. Did they? Damn. Oh, they played yeah. now. They already played. Yeah, that's the tournament. Yeah, they'll, 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 you see that much? I don't even care. I ain't even care. Yeah. Look, I don't care. Them niggas gone. Hey, what are you telling me for? I don't care about them. I don't care about them. I'm just playing. I now, care Paul, about them. If they, if they, if they some, some way, somehow found a way to win a tournament, you'd be all, oh, I'm a Mizzou fan. But oh. but that's that's like, I don't know. That's like not, that's never going to happen. So it's just. Who, yeah. who beat them? LSU? Okay. Yep. Yeah. Damn, that's I it. I know George. I know Georgia got they they buzzed with my hair to build. They they tear, tear They six and twenty six. I didn't even know they were that bad. What is that tur- got to be the rest? That got to be one of the worst records like ever in, in like, college basketball history. I got to get going on it because I think the um the Big Ten the tournament is my that got started today right or that got started yesterday. That's my favorite tournament. So I'm gonna check that one out. That's um, yours. I like the Pac twelve. Pac twelve really. I've never watched the Pac twelve tournament. I've never. That's oh, I, I'm gonna be honest. Most of the games I watch, they're from Pac-12. That's really? I, know, I know a lot of the Pac-12 team. And the uh, what's the one with uh, uh, see I don't know conference that good. What's the one with UCLA? Who they they pay Pac-12, don't they? UCLA, um, Pac-12, yeah. Okay, see, yeah, I, I watch UCLA a lot. Yeah. Johnny Juzang, y'all been missing out on. Them. Yeah, they they the UCLA got a squad, got a squad. They can still repeat. Who knows? Um, I'm waiting for the SEC to get. I know somebody who isn't Gonzaga. Mm-hmm. They, they, they be St. Mary's though, right? They ain't doing nothing. Yeah. They be saying they, they ain't doing nothing. In front of them. We'll Don't see. Don't worry, what. Blake. Don't worry, Blake. We go, you know, Gonzaga. They go. No, no. They go let Ty down the way he be hopping them up. They go I don't. I don't. Up. I don't care about Gonzaga. I just think I, my thing with Gonzaga is they. I don't. I'm not gonna act like they haven't had NBA talent like over the yeah, last yeah. five years. You make no. You make good they, points. They can't win anything. Yeah. You make good points. Like you make probably your points. All, all your points about them are actually true. It's just. It's Gonzaga. I think y'all. I don't like them. I think y'all judgment about college teams is is off. That's what I think. You think it's too NBA esque? Yes. Kind of way? I, I do think it's way too NBA esque. No, yes. but that's the only one I judge like that though. But I'm saying like, what do you? I, I judge. I judge Duke. But my thing is, it's what y'all judge a good a, a success for. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can't call a team overrated because they don't go when they haven't won a national championship in years. I call them overrated I because I call them overrated because I always see them being ranked number one. They talk them up every single year and they don't win. Okay, I feel you. When you're, when you're, look, look, look. This, this, how, this, how I'm gonna give it to you. When they, when they constantly are ranked number one each and every year, I expect you to win a national title sooner than later because everybody think you so good. Why you ain't winning yet? Yeah, that's true. Being ranked number one, that's all it is. That's all. That's now if they were ranked tenth and twentieth, I wouldn't think about them. But yeah. one, true. So I'm, all I'm saying, you gotta, you, know, you gotta understand what I'm saying, player. I'm looking for Kentucky. <laughs> I'm, I'm looking for is Kentucky. I don't get fucked by all that other shit. Oh, good old Kentucky. Yeah. Wow, okay. Huh. Shout out to him. Shout out to him. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna watch, check out this next game. Uh, y'all yeah. check out. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. Get us yep. to 350. Download new episodes on Spotify and Apple. And we are gonna see you guys on Monday evening with a new episode. Probably booing them right now. Yep. Oh, yeah.